Well, you hear a lot of talk about drain the swamp. You know, is Donald Trump going to be able to drain the swamp and all this type of stuff? And I'm going to tell you something. Uh, you know, everybody filled up that cannon with, you know, full of Donald Trump projectile, right? Fired it at Washington, D.C. and expect, like, yeah, we're going to, he's going to help us and all this. And he probably will. I think he's sincere. Um, and I know he's got a lot of executive orders he can undo from this yo yo. And, you know, I got to tell you right up front, man, I, I just can't believe a lot of black people got hoodwinked by this Barack Obama back in 2008 and 2012. I know the other choice was a bunch of garbage, too, but, man, to actually think this Barack Obama guy was a good guy is was not smart, man. He's a con job, and his old lady is a freaking weird, you know, I don't, you know, Michael, Michael Michelle, right? Yeah, I'll just say that, okay? I'm not going to go too far down that trail, but... He got the gist on it, man. He's bomb is bad news, man. Um, just and it's it's kind of it, it breaks my heart that you know people got conned by this guy, really. So I'm just saying that maybe it's not gonna be popular, but um, the deal is that you the way to really drain the swamp is really and it's gonna be the title of this video basically. It's gonna be via the the mafia way, the way things have always been done. When you got draconian authorities riding roughshod over the public, um, and you know the thing is with Alex Jones, you know, this guy bugs me sometimes because he's always talking like, you know, Barack Obama or Hillary Clinton's the mafia. No, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. Um, the code in the mafia. Yeah, you hear the code of um, Omerta, the men, men of honor, the code of honor is part of the silence but why is there a silence the silence is absolutely non-cooperation with the authorities and absolutely no interference with all legal and illegal economic entrepreneurial activities so in other words an entrepreneurial activity could be something whereby uh, it could be illegal gambling or something or illegal liquor or some non-tax liquor or something or weed or whatever the hell it is something that people want prostitution whatever fine uh you know voiding import export tax and a lot of times some um, government itself through excess taxation puts the brakes on the economy drastically hurts the average worker and you know alex jones refers to them see i don't think of the mafia as a dirty word um but you got to think of the mafia, what it really is. And what it really is, is a free enterprise organization, loosely connected to each other. But that's really how you drain the swamp, because the swamp is the authorities. They're the bureaucracies. They're the, they're, they're the government authorities. They're not the mafia. Uh, one guy I used to respect a lot is, is Meyer Lansky. I mean, a guy... Um, selflessly did not even though I, I think he could have had fantastically far more money than he you know it turned out that everybody used to think he had loads of money um but he kept things going he was the guy that was the brains that was the grease behind the wheels or whatever that kept things flowing but that's the type of discipline you need um you you can uh work out of a hut for crying out loud and not be, you know, wanting all the entrapments of, you know, having a marble desk or whatever the hell it is and do all the work. Um, it's kind of like what the Meyer Lansky things was, but, you know, it's strict discipline. Now, when I'm saying this, um, I'm not encouraging illegal activities, but I'm saying is a lot of times there's things that people want, and, you know, like I know with Al Capone and everything, you know, there's gambling prostitution and liquor right but out of that even what what came about out, out of that the you know the bureau of alcohol tobacco and firearms which sounds like a damn uh you know a, a, one of those convenience stores that would be uh you know on the end of the block or something like that you know it became a new agency out of all the turmoil and conflict that happened at that time but what is he what was al capone even doing i mean i'm not saying this guy's a hero or something i know he's a bad guy but but really what he wouldn't have existed if there was not a need for something 
and the fact that the government said you couldn't drink or you have manufacture and sell alcohol was it saying it you couldn't drink when manufacture and sell alcohol it, it created that need um but you see almost all economic collapses and almost everything i mean yeah, there's a natural cycle that happens you know boom and bust that's normal but all severe net economic collapses are almost always caused by the government and one of the things you can even look at even with um but the last uh, big downturn was in 2008 2009 which was you know the, the uh, the real estate market collapsed and all that stuff. Who the hell really caused all that? Freddie Mac and Freddie Mae changed all the rules on the mortgages. Blah, 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 you know. And, um, you know, people were claiming it's mafia. Now, now, you know, I know a lot of people like to uh, throw the term around or play the act apart. But, and actually, there's a fine line between what the hell is mafia? Because anything can be labeled that a lot of times. It, or just business, you know. It's just business. But the real mafia itself is about entrepreneurial business. And it could be illegal or legal activities. Absolute non-interference with allowing people to exchange goods and services as they see fit without any cooperation with the authorities. So a lot of times there'll be, you know, let's give an example um, you know, gambling, you know, I mean, gambling becomes, it becomes legal, I can say in New Jersey, because, you know, the state can collect their cut, but say the state doesn't collect their cut, then that gambling is illegal, <laughs> you know, and the state is actually a big bureaucracy. Now, a lot of times people think uh, President John F. Kennedy was murdered by the mafia, and I know there was some elements involved, but, you know, um, I think Trump is pretty much aware that he could be another JFK, and he's been very smart about surrounding himself with uh, other independent security people that are going to watch the Secret Service. Uh, and, you know, I'm not saying the Secret Service is all bad or anything like that, but, you know, what happens, there's, like, elements that just get in there that influence from outside. Because the people that are playing against Trump are, like, you know, they're not going to play by any rules. And, you know, maybe no, we shouldn't either. You know, that's another thing. But uh, the deal is that uh, Trump, I think, is like, he actually is in pretty severe danger. But us depending on one guy to fix everything, forget about that deal. I don't know how the hell he's going to drain the swamp. John F. Kennedy tried to drain the swamp. Look what happened to him. I mean, uh, I'm, I, I mean, I bet you Bill Clinton had more, even even him. I know he's pretty much a damn opportunist, but I bet you he had better intentions uh, when he went into the office than what he really had to carry out for you know his masters. I'm telling you that right now. I mean, I'm not a fan of Bill Clinton, okay? But you know, when they get in office, they find out, and I, I'm finding out. I bet you Trump freaking knows that now because he probably he looks like he was a little nervous. But the deal is that people are really. What they really need to survive and thrive is just be left alone to let them pursue their own economic activities. That requires just laissez-faire capitalism. Now, you could say we want a guy in office that allows that, but you know that's not going to happen. You know, the last time that happened when Calvin Coolidge was president, okay, back in the 1920s, um, you know... It, work really great back then, but it, that's not going to happen just because we sent Trump there to drain the swamp and we're going to be maybe disappointed that he can't drain the swamp or and they're going to try to make him look as bad as possible and they're going to try to do all this tension and stuff. And I think people will just get their attention away from that kind of garbage because I know like Alex Jones is going to be saying, and I've got to mention this guy because he kind of bothers me sometimes with some of the crap. I, I really don't know how sincere this guy really is. I don't think he is. Um, I think that he's going to come out and say, well, yeah, the elite are doing this and that, and the mafia. But it's not the mafia, dude. Uh, that's the authorities. That's what the mafia is against. And the reason they're against it is because the authorities are basically leeches that are stifling the free economic pursuits of the people. 
You know, I personally don't see why anything, you know, I'm not an advocate of drugs. I don't take any drugs. I don't drink liquor. And, uh, you know, I don't care. You know, if they made all the drugs in the world legal, fine. I mean, it should warn people about them, uh, whatever. But, you know, if people want to do drugs and screw themselves up, I think that's their free will maybe. You know, and it, as it is, they do that anyway. But you know what happens? It becomes part of the government racket because then you have, you know, the criminal, el- you know, the cr- criminal th- end of it. They go to prisons for profits and all this other garbage. So, and, and it doesn't help anybody anyway. Even rehab is a bunch of freaking uh, uh, more drugs to, for rehab and all that kind of garbage. I mean, people want to do things, and a lot of stuff actually, um, they're nonsensical rules. You know, uh, you maybe you need a little bit of rules, but we got by and large far in excess, and that's really what's putting the brakes on the economy. Now, I can tell you one thing. I think that. The so-called, I know Putin is, let me put it this way, where I think this is all going to play out, where the swamp is going to get really drained, is the West is going to get destroyed by Russia. Um, Putin has got his chain pulled, and I'm not a fan of this guy, man. I know he's a hard ass. I know, I know, I, I watch Russia today sometimes, and I'm like, God, I'm watching this guy talk, and I'm like saying, holy smokes, man. I'm looking at the audience, you know, especially the military audience. Not even the slightest smile on any face. It's like, they all look like, I don't know what the hell they're looking at, man. It's almost like, you know, if they are if they were American military, they would be a little more positive, you know, uh, whatever, repertoire coming back and forth between the audience and the guy speaking. Even if you're talking between, like, uh, you know, a four-star general and his officers, right? But when Putin's talking, man, these guys, I mean, they all look like they're down in the dumps, man. I mean, I was like watching this stuff, and I'm, every time, I, and it's just the body language. And I say to myself, damn, this guy is a dictator, damn it. But, 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 he's not, well, I, I can't, I, I don't want to, like, knock him. I don't really want to knock him. But I'm going to tell you one thing. He's going to wind up being a punishment to the West. Um... I know he's integrally connected to the West, and one way, and, and you know, with with the money, and with his companies in Switzerland, his uh, oil trading company in Switzerland that's uh, registered in Cyprus for you know income tax reasons and stuff. And the guy's a multi, 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 multi billionaire, but he is an extreme Russian patriot, um, which is pretty good. You know, I can tell you, I got a respect for that big time, but you know. The West is pulling his chain too much, like stupid Obama and Hillary, you know, used to be Hillary, you know, around. Um, and I can tell you, I think this guy, they're going to push him over the edge. And it ain't going to take but one little, not, I mean, not talking like some big nuke. It could be like a third-party tactical terrorist nuke weapon or some crap in some major city, especially in a fun, you know, near New York or something. God, that would be the end of it. The, the markets would all collapse. The whole thing would go, and it would be go from one thing to another to another. So I think, like you know, the swamp is getting drained one way or the other. But us focusing on what the politics of this situation and what the elite are doing, and what the Democrats and Republicans are doing, or what the Rothschilds are doing, or what this polit it ain't doing us any good. Really, how you want to drain the swamp is. You know, I, I don't think of it as a dirty word. Don't think of it as something bad. Don't think of it as something cool. Don't think of it as something hip either or anything like that. Bad. Because I know it's like <clears throat> the mafia has got different connotations. Like some people are like they want to want to be in it or something. <clears throat> or they think it's cool. Or they think it's like they, you know, they, they, they uh, whatever. You know, they, it's like old girl here where she's dressing the part, you know, with the red hair and the Tommy gun, right? And... Or they think it's like the worst evil in the world. It's neither. It's all about entrepreneurial, you know, pursuit of happiness, capitalism. And I know what the movies make of it, but the movies are the movies. And the movies have never portrayed reality correctly. Um, You know, for, you know, they always make it look like, even with the Al Capone, you know, Chicago gangs, you know, he wasn't killing his customers. 
they were drinking all the booze he was providing. They were fighting amongst each other. You know, Al Capone wasn't going in a bar and, like, killing the people drinking his booze. No, he, they, I mean, every, the average American was benefiting from this stuff. They wanted to drink booze. You know, I mean, but, you know, out of that all came more government regulations. But what I'm saying is, you know, when this thing, the swamp is coming down, I think personally through government default, we're hitting it at that type, that time, you know, when we hit $24 trillion on the government debt, hang it up. We're already over $20 trillion, right? Trump is not going to be able to put the brakes on fast enough to freaking hit the inevitable wall. Um, in the meantime, you know, the price of oil is going to go up a lot because the agreement between OPEC, Saudis in particular, and Russia to cut production. And, and that's going to bring a lot more money into the coffers of Russia. And Putin's really hell-bent on bringing up the uh, Russian war machine. And he wants to bring all the Eastern European nations back into Russian fold. And I, I'm not really keen on that for, at all. But, uh, you know, I think that's one place that NATO should stand firm. But the other side of it is we got a lot of corruption over here. And I think a lot of the damage done by the Obama administration is not going to be able to be reversed fast enough by Trump. And, you know, us concentrating on all this crap that is beyond our control is not going to help us. What's going to help us is to take that attitude... And it's not like, you know, I'm going to go in the face of authorities and protest. I'm going to disobey you. But, you know, pretty much every business in the world does this anyway on a daily basis. You know, they're not really the mafia. They get they do as much as they possibly can do, to, you know, to maximize their profit. And what you really need to do is just keep working and keeping the ball rolling. And, you know, I'm a little miffed at that um, label, the mafia, being used on the government. The government is not the mafia. They're the authorities. The mafia has always been non-cooperation with the authorities because the authorities are actually ruining it for the people. And, you know, the people that actually understood this the best were the Sicilians because they were under so many different types of rule for so many centuries that and they shook off these rules every time uh so let's just say that you know the end lesson here is that you know if you really want to drain the swamp we as individuals through individual efforts can really do it um you know there's people like you know what what does the authorities want i mean maybe trump can reverse this but you know obamacare is a bunch of crap you're paying a lot you're paying some crazy rate for health insurance and or you get fined right that's one thing um you know there's ways you could probably not cooperate with that and you know even making phone calls to um the authorities and bitching about it and saying it's unconstitutional what the hell you what right do you have to tell me what insurance I have to get or whether I have to get, if I don't get insurance, if I don't buy something, that I get fined. And it's like saying, you know, if I don't want to buy a motorcycle, am I going to get fined a vehicle fine or something because I didn't want to buy a motorcycle and a car? I mean, it's that's stupid, right? So, you know, that's one way you can not cooperate with him, but... Um, and, you know, honestly, that's why you always have that code of silence and a code of honor. You know, people that are in, not in the mafia and they shoot their mouth off and they say this and that, obviously it all falls apart really quick. But I can tell you right now, um, true entrepreneurs that work very hard, um, they're like the opposite of government people. Government people are some of the laziest pieces of crap going. And anybody that's a true entrepreneur... Uh, they notice because they they avoid hiring in them because they find that they're lousy workers, 100% lousy worker. Like a bomb would be like worthless in a company, man. That, but you know that's why I think Trump would be great in here because he's a guy that actually made his own money. How many people did we ever have as a president that made their own money and <laughs> did that? You know, he's the only one, right? 
Uh, so that's something I think. But then he's got way more on his plate, and he's gonna. And I think the trends have been so much, so far, so long that Donald Trump is not going to just be able to get in, be Casey Jones at the, you know, the train engine, whatever, and try to hit the brakes and reverse the engines, and he ain't gonna be able to do it, man. And it's us relying on that that he's gonna be able to do that. Hang it up. I don't think that's gonna be able to happen. And you know, I think it might get far worse than that. I think we're on a collision course with Russia, man. I'm hoping not, but we we probably are. We probably are. Uh, Russia's probably going to be the big punishment for the corruption that's going on in our government. Our government's going to get it one way or another. The damn leeches. But, uh, you know, I just, I'm a straight shooter, and I'm going to tell you right now, just, you know, this is more like a psychological advice thing, and it's not an attention video or nothing like that, but I'm just telling you that the mafia method don't think of the hollywood method the mafia method is the code of silence the code of honor working together in a enterprise that makes money now it's just providing services or whatever it is that people want and like i said even al capone didn't kill his customers you know what i'm saying <laughs> they were like fighting amongst each other even that guy even the head guy that you hear in the movies all the time right um and you know, is absolutely, um, you know, just non-interference in any economic activity, whether it's legal or illegal. Um, because economic activity is fulfilling a need for somebody, what, one way or the other. And you always got to make a profit on it, but then again, a lot of times, the mafia keeps the grease rolling. And honestly, all businesses in America have a little bit of that in them. There's no doubt about it. And they're not labeled that. I mean, I'm not talking about plain mafia, Hollywood, GQ, and all kind of crap. I'm just saying, like, almost like what Calvin Coolidge says, the business of America is business. And that will drain the swamp. But for the business to keep going, I've said it 20 times already, It's it's got to be lack of cooperation with the authorities. But you can't tell them that. And you can't be open about it. Thus, the code of honor. Thus, the omerta. And, you know, hopefully I've been a little educational on that because I'm a little pissed off about that Alex Jones keeping using that word like the way he does when he's applying a word to the authorities that has nothing that is like the opposite of the anti-establishment authorities all the way. That, that word being mafia. Anyway, over now.